With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, what is given that there is a uh, in figure uh, wheel A of radius 10 cm is coupled by a belt to wheel C of radius 25 cm. Now the angular velocity of A is increased from rest at a constant rate of 1.6 radian per second square. Okay. So this is basically uh, uh, this is our acceleration. Okay. Now find the time needed uh, for the wheel to reach an angular speed of uh, uh, this wheel C to reach an angular speed of 12.8 radian per second assuming that the bel uh, this belt do not slip. Okay. So initially the system would be at rest. Okay. Now what is happening? So uh, this uh, uh, the speed of angular speed of uh, this A is increasing at a rate of 1.6 radian per second. That means the angular acceleration for this portion is 1.6 radian per second. Now there is no slipping. That means the acceleration would be same for our uh, this A and also for our C wheel. Because for example, if we uh, say for this point and this point, let's say this point, basically these are connected and these are connected with the belt. Okay. So this point would be connected to the belt in the uh, this wheel A. This point is connected to the belt and to the wheel A. So to have the coupling motion and no slipping. So the uh, co uh, this acceleration along this direction and acceleration along this direction should be same. Okay, the tangential acceleration. So we can say that acceleration of A should be equal to acceleration of C to prevent the slipping. Now how can we write uh, this acceleration of A? It could be written as A acceleration of A into radius of A because A equals to R into alpha. Similarly, acceleration of C in terms of angular acceleration would be alpha C into R C because A equals to R into alpha. Okay, R is the radius about which it would be rotating. Now, acceleration of uh, this angular acceleration of A we know it is 1.6. Radius of A we know it is 10 equals to alpha C we don't know and radius of C we know it is 25. Now, if we solve this then our uh, this angular acceleration of C would turn out to be angular acceleration of C it would be 0.64 radian per second square. Now since the velocity is uh, the A velocity is increasing at a constant rate that means that uh, this velocity uh, the velocity for angular velocity for C would also be uh, increasing at a constant rate that means acceleration would be constant. Now if acceleration is constant then we can use our equation of motion for the rotational case. So it would be omega equals to omega naught plus alpha into t. Now for the case of C, we can say that omega C final, this is the final at an instant of time. Then omega naught C, it is the initial plus alpha C into the time. So what is the final omega which we wanted to achieve? It is 12.8. So 12.8, initially the system would be at rest. So this would be zero. Alpha C, we know it is 0.64. We have calculated multiplied by time. So if we solve this, then our time would turn out to be 12.8 divided by 0.64. Okay. So from this expression, our time would turn out to be 20 seconds. So we just write 20, it is 20 seconds. Okay. So which option is the correct option? So our correct option is the A option 20 seconds. Hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.